videos. Click on my oh, videos to the left. So did you? So you uploaded? That's what you're saying. You uploaded already, your video. Yeah, and I already plopped it in there. Okay, so let's go to my pages. Let's look at the thank you page. Just click on the dots and go to edit. <coughs> But I might not have done it right. That's why I'm. Um, okay. It had a weird picture of me. Where it came from, I don't know. But I guess they used it as a thumbnail. And yeah, it we was can my we can choose a different thumbnail, or we can even put a thumbnail image. Putting a thumbnail image is always good too. Okay. But let's let's see. Let's take a look at this really quick. And yeah, see. So you didn't you didn't do it. You uploaded well, the video. You uploaded the video, but you didn't put it on the page. So watch. Well, no, I got to get. I have to put it on an actual page. But on an actual page, when I click this, my video comes up. I don't know what page that would have been on, but yeah, I'll not, show you. I'll it's not this one. Link. Oh, it's there. If I okay, could get so, the link. Okay, so you linked. You linked the image. Right, I linked gotcha, it. Maybe gotcha. I yeah, that's not what we're doing. No, we're not okay. linking the image. We're just gonna we're gonna so here's what we're gonna do. To the very left, let's go to components. Yeah, and see, then, I didn't uh, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna now, get video, go to video, look for video down. I think it's down. Go to videos and then now look at the different templates. These are different templates of a of a screen. So wow. You know, so just grab whichever one, you know. Doesn't matter. They're all the same, right? Yeah, so click. Don't let it go. Click. Oh. Hold it down, right? Hold down the click. So click, drag it over, and put it right below the word seller guide. So that orange line, make it light up green. Right there. It always has to oh, light yeah. up green. Yeah, it has to be green or else it's not there. Okay. Yeah, so click, drag, green, drop. Okay, so now. now let it go? Yep, yeah. It's green. Yeah, let it go. Okay. So, so now get rid of okay. the block templates. Okay. And then let's scroll down and now let's X out of that image. So scroll down. Let's get rid of that image. Scroll down. So now just X out, hover over the image and just X it out. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now we're good here. So now hover over the video slot, the placement, click on edit right here. This is where we're gonna upload our video. So with video, you can upload it to, to Kartra, which is what you did, which is great. That's exactly what you wanna do. Or it could have been a YouTube video or a Wistia or a Vimeo, but normally it's I, I'll use Kartra video, upload it to Kartra, or I'll do YouTube sometimes because I have a YouTube channel. But, but in this case, it's Kartra video. So select category, hit that drop down. And then all you're going to do is go to the one that you, that you, so no category in particular, and then find that video it should be right here. Perfect. And then um, here you can, you can show controls, you can mute on start. Um, you can select the skin color. So hit that arrow to the right, the um, skin color, you can choose a different, you know, button. So if you keep going, just keep going, just keep playing with it. You know, you got a bunch of different buttons. So Keep going, just oh. keep going, keep going, keep going. Like there's a bunch of different ones, right? So that- Oh, I see, now the button. Yeah, so you can choose whichever one, then just click apply and then um, save progress, publish live, and, and that's it. So no, you gotta always click apply to the left. You gotta always click, whenever you're in the, the configuration or anything to the left, always hit that green button. So you're good. So now that video is there. So X out of the configuration but what about the one I already put on? Is that going to mess things up? You you didn't put it on anything. You thought you did. You just, if anything, you linked it to that image, but we just got rid of the image. I it to that image. But once we did that, then that was okay. It's gone. Yeah, we deleted the image. Okay, good. So now now you just have this, this video here. So um, yeah, go ahead and get the link, open it up in a new tab. And, and let's make sure that we got... And so here's what we want to double check as well. So go ahead and paste it in. Okay. Open it up. I wrong. And let's check that pixel. So let's check the pixel. So click on um you got your 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 um your your plugins in the top right. So right there where you see your Pinterest, click on that that hammer looking thing to the right of the Pinterest. 
this? Yeah, click on that one. Okay. Oh, you don't have the Facebook pixel helper. I thought you did. Okay, open up a new tab and then go to Google. And I'm gonna have you install this, this um, plugin. It's free. It just sits up there right where the Pinterest thing is at, icon is at. So click on or type in Facebook pixel helper. Facebook pixel helper. Yeah, helper, there you go, right there. Okay, so this one right here, we're gonna click on um, the top one, which will be, um, actually, you know what? Not that one, not Shopify, scroll down. The Google Chrome, it's that fourth one down, that one right there. Yeah, click on that one. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna just install this. And all this is, go ahead and add to Chrome. Perfect, add to Chrome. All this is, is gonna sit up here, right where your pixel, or right where your Pinterest, yeah, add extension. It's gonna and be all, with that memories. Yeah, so now click on, um, yeah, it's gonna be right here up at the top. So that's that's it right there. So, okay, so now, so X out of that little help, that little, yeah, X out of that. So all this is, actually, you know what, let's pin it. So click on that hammer looking thing next to the Pinterest icon. And, and let's go down to um, Facebook Pixel Helper and pin it. So just pin it. Yeah, pin it. Perfect. Okay, so it's going to sit up here. Okay, so look. The way it looks now, it's, it's shaded gray. That's letting you know that there's no pixel on this page. This specific page that you're on, chrome.google.com forward slash web store forward slash detail. This exact page, this specific page, there's no pixel on it. But okay. if you actually, and, and that's why it's gray. That's why the little pixel helper thing is gray. But if you go okay. to your page where, where you actually have a pixel on it, so go to that one, refresh this page, click on that, refresh this page, that little icon in the top right should light up. It should light up blue, and there goes green, yeah. there's the number two. Click on it, there's yeah. number three, click on it. This right here lets you know that your pixel is installed correctly. It's also oh. letting us know that our custom conversion is being read correctly, which oh. is the seller guide leads. That's yeah. our custom conversion. That's the, that's the page, that's our thank you page. This right here, as we go and run ads, we run conversion ads, not video not views, not traffic, not engagement, not lead generation. No, we're running, when we click the green button and we go and start an ad, we're running conversion ads and, our, wow. and we're telling Facebook that our ultimate goal is to get people to, to this page. So okay. it's not our landing page. Yes, when they click the ad, they go to the landing page, but our ultimate goal is to get them to land here. That's our custom wow. conversion. That's seller guide leads. So when I Very install cool. this Facebook pixel helper, it just, I, I install it just so I can test my pages and I can make sure that the pixel is, is, is installed accurately on my pages, right? So that's all I care about. But, but as you're navigating through the internet now, from this point on, that thing will light up whenever you're on a page buying hair products or buying a new blouse, whatever, buying a handbag. Whenever you're on anyone's website, you're going you're gonna to see that thing light up. Okay. And so now I might have made another mistake. I put a splash page in the video because of the ugly picture they had there. And this is just a still picture. So should I um, run it and see if it runs? Yeah, go ahead and press play. This that that thumbnail right there looks great. Yeah, but play. that's all. It is. Okay. Thank you. I'm so thrilled you chose to talk more about selling yours. Again, I don't have a lot of sounds. Austin's boutique realtor, and I've been selling residential real estate in Texas since 2004. Although we're currently in a seller's market, there's a whole new set of challenges that come with multiple offers. You need my experience to sort through the various terms of the offers you'll receive. The highest price is not always the best offer. Many listings in our area are getting 100 plus offers on their homes. So there's a lot to be considered. Please remember to check your email for the PDF download of my seller's guide, which I'm happy to give you, and continue to check for other informative emails that I'll be sending your way. I know every seller has a different situation. So if you'd like to jump on a free, no obligation consultation call, please click the yellow button to set up a time so we can connect. Thanks and take care. Christine, you freaking nailed it. 
Really? Awesome oh, job. Wow. Awesome job. See, look how Thanks. crazy powerful that is. Like that's so, yeah, well, you just have no idea yet. You have no idea on, on how effective this can be for you. So I, know, I can't wait to see, but that was, so, those were your points. And so I just tried to catch them all. Awesome. Awesome. So, so that's how you just simply upload a video. Now, now, now with any video in the future, you got on the, on the thank you page. And then any video mm -hmm. in the future, I would put on a simple page just like this and dump that into an email. Right. So that's later on that you don't got to do that now, but that's just long-term thinking. Like, like as I start to get your emails, I just downloaded your seller guide. Now I'm over here watching your thank you video. And again, as I start to get future emails from you, if I can see you again on video, that's even, mm -hmm. I mean, again, that's what separates you from every other agent. You know, the, okay. the value, the, the, the content that you'll be educating your lead with, like they're going to fall in love with you. Well, you I'm know, getting so. more comfortable with it. I can feel like I am. Yeah. But yeah, so I'll have to remember about the components and um, because I, I did it completely wrong. So I have to get rid of that. Um, well, We'll do it again. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to keep doing this. And again, my uh, I'm going to be on calls every Monday and Wednesday from the, from this point on. It starts this Wednesday, so 3 p.m. Central. Just jump on, and I'll and I'll be answering all these questions. So okay. click on so click on the yellow button. Click on the on the button, and let's see if it takes you to, to the calendar. Oh, yeah. I don't think we set that up yet, David. No, we haven't okay, set so, that. Up. Okay, so let's go to the Karcher page. Yeah, let's go to go to the Karcher page, um, the builder. So go to the other, yeah, that one. So right here. Okay, cool. So hit close and then oh, scroll down, okay. hover over the button, hit close, X out, hover over the button, and then um, edit. And all we're going to do is simply click on link right here at the top, click on link, and then, and then link to a Karcher calendar. So scroll down. And then that's already there. And then select oh. calendar, select calendar. So oh, Austin's boutique. And what okay. I what I what I use is overlay. Go with use an overlay. Let's do the okay. overlay. And then just click on apply. So now actions, save progress, publish live. I'm slow at this. You're probably no, no, you're fine. No, you're fine. Publish live. And then now go back to the page to the tab at the top. Open, go to that page, refresh it. Um, this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Just going to refresh this one. And then now click on the yellow button. Yay. Yeah. That's awesome. So this now is just how you'll be getting appointments, you know, from that thank you page. From that All video. right. Our logo isn't there. Yours is there, right? Yeah, you got to your... add that logo in the calendar. So as you go into the calendar settings and as you go and edit. I did it. I did it. And so it's we'll, we'll take a so... look at it. We'll take a look at it again. But but it's okay. as, let's take we'll take a look at it. Go ahead and close this out. So go oh, to yeah. go to this the Kartra. So go to the cart the other Kartra tab and just get out of there. But yeah, video, that thank you video is so, so important. So that's how you just simply upload. You, again, that could be uploaded to Kartra, which I would just recommend keep uploading videos to Kartra, or it could have been uploaded to a YouTube channel. And then you could just use the same YouTube link there, but no. I Kartra. actually uploaded to my YouTube channel, but I didn't use that one because after the video's over, mm -hmm. they show a bunch of other videos oh, of on there. Of course, that's why you don't want to do that. Leave the video oh. on Kartra just like this. You're perfect. So now let's scroll down real quick. Let me look at the footer real quick of this one. So scroll down. Everything look good. Look good below. Yep, there goes that. Yeah, you're good. So now, now after I've already collected your name and email, now you can connect with me on social media, right? Now let's let's even you know build a, a, a stronger relationship now that I already have your email, you know. Oh, so. Yeah. So, and over here, I don't need the disclaimer at the bottom. I don't, I don't need the Facebook because this is the, the thank you page, right? So this is the thank you page. Now that's enough, all the information we need and, and we're good. So now, okay. okay, so let's X out of here real quick actions and return to dashboard. So again, I got that, I got a video on my thank you page. Now, 
for emails, as you take your brand even further and as you learn more about this, get out of here, return to dashboard and just hit the red one, return to dashboard and then just click um, the red the red button exit. over here. Yeah, exit. So so now as, as you find more time, as you find more time, it's the email sequence. So the email sequence, one, two, like that's just a simple page. Like that's one simple page with a video slot, which that's an image. Like if you look at either one of those four, four home email sequence two or four home email sequence one, all oh, that is one. is an image of a, of a video slot. That's all that is. So, so just like we did with the thank you page, you'll just simply go to components, drag over the video slot and then delete that image, right? And then, and then and just add videos to this one. Okay, but I, you asked me to write some emails, which I did. Yeah, yeah, um, so that, that's what we're gonna go into now. So, so okay, this is just so long-term, the video. Right oh, I don't need this right now? No, but I'm just showing you this one page is what you can just, and obviously change out the image, you'll change out okay. the headline. You'll change out the footer, of course, but once you do that, then then this one page you can just clone over and over and over for your emails, if if you want to put videos in your emails, right? You don't got to do do that now, but I'm just saying long term. Okay. Put put a simple so video on a page. Change obviously just change the video on each. Um, that's it. Change the video, change the headline, and and that's yeah. it. You'll have your same. You'll have your footer down there. So so. So why don't we do this real quick? Why don't we do this real quick? X out of this. Here's what I'm gonna have you do real quick. X out of this. Get rid of. Um, get rid of, of. Okay, click on the dots on sequence two. Let me just do. Let's just do this real real quick. Click on the dots. Delete that one. Delete. Delete. Okay. Now go into. Um, yeah. So let's just. Delete. Yeah. Go to delete. Okay. Let's click on the three dots of sequence one. Let's just do this real quick. Sequence oh, one, see. click on the dots and click on edit. Let's um, click on edit. So this is part of my. So in this case, scroll to the very, very bottom. And let's just, let's just add, let's, 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 let's add our, our, yeah. Hit this red square to the right and delete, delete. Actually, you know what? Before you delete it, before you delete it, go to go to go to section or go to components to the left. Let's just add ours real quick. Go to components, click on favorites. Actually, I think it is sections. It's sections. Click on sections. Go to favorites at the top, and then just grab your footer, drag it, and put it at the very very bottom. So right below copyrights. Take it lower. Take it lower. Right below copyrights. Yeah, drop it right there. Drop it right there. Perfect. And then now get rid of get rid of um actually no don't delete the whole thing because i think you're gonna i think you're gonna delete that yellow button just hover over the logo of exp and delete it right there yeah x out no 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 above go to the logo or start right there x out yep and then x out of the logo perfect and then and then x out of, of that one perfect x out of those perfect cool okay so now now here's what we're gonna do so x out of that one Perfect. We're good. Now you can get rid of that bar that if you want, you could totally get rid of that yellow line all across. There's it. There it is right there. You can X out of that one. Yeah. Yeah. I like getting rid Perfect. of that bar. Okay. So now let's save progress, save progress. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Go ahead and save progress. But what we have to do is we, we have to link this button as well. We didn't link this button. So go ahead and link this button, hover over the button. Hit edit. No, the button, the button, the button. No, 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 not that one, the button. Yeah, hit edit right here. Okay, so now go to link and we're gonna we're gonna simply link the, the calendar. So scroll down, choose your calendar. Oh, okay, we're gonna link the calendar again. Yeah, yeah so save that and then use, use overlay, oh. click apply, perfect. So now, Score to the, uh, actually, you know what? You already have this. Yeah, so we're good. So save progress, save progress, actions, actions, save progress, publish live. Unless Oops. you, and, and also you may want to change out that image in the background. Do you want to change out this okay, image? Have, right, should I do that now? Yeah, yeah, do that right now. Do that right now. So, okay. to the, get so get rid of that. And then 
that red square. There you go. Perfect. Hit the pencil. And that's the image in the background. So go to go to background and then and then image selected. Perfect. So you can always put that other one if that's your signature home, you know, use that for a lot of stuff. Um, click confirm. What would be what would be cool too, and then click apply. Might See, not so, look as yeah, might not look. So if anything, maybe on these ones, since it's a, it's a smaller image, maybe yeah. go with like 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 the skyline. What would like the the the, the downtown oh. skyline look like here? You know, yeah. right? It might look good. I have a picture of that on my Facebook page. So. Yeah, yeah. You can always add that later. So, so That's yeah, you'll want to change that out. But I think I no, you could do it later. You could do it later, yeah. but but that's how you would do it. So, so you're good here. So save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. So the return so dashboard. Whatever text that that particular video pertains. Yes. yes. That's what I put yes. as my heading. Okay. Yes. Publish live if. Yeah, there you go. And then exit. And then just go to the page, go to the tab at the top, schedule your call now. Is that the is that the tab or, or, or is that a different page? Which that's the thank you page, right? So go to um go to the sequence one, click on the dots. What you always want to do, what you always want to get in the habit of, get the code, get code. As you were exiting the page, you clicked mm -hmm. on the green button, you saved progress. You right. clicked on the green button, you published live. Right. So as you go and publish live, you're also changing out the link if needed. And then what you're going to always get in the habit of is copying it and opening it up in a new tab. You always want to open yeah. it up in a, in a new tab right away so Facebook can read it right away. Oh, okay. So, so go ahead and open it up. And then number one, so Facebook can read that pixel. So now click on the pixel. Make sure that that's your pixel. It should be number two. There it is there. It so, is. So our pixels on the page, that's perfect. That's number one reason. And then number number two reason is so um, um, number one, Facebook can read it for the first time. And then number two, okay. it can just update. So on the Kartra side. So okay. now go to go to Kartra. Go to Kartra. Yeah, go to the tab right there. Okay, so now close out of this. And then and then you're good. So just go to refresh this over here. Refresh this page. Refresh it, did you say? Yeah, refresh it. So now it should be read over here and, and there goes that sequence one and just updated. Perfect, right. so that's that's how you just kind of add video and, and just get video marketing into everything you're doing, your thank you page and, and on all these emails. So now, now that you have that page, all you gotta do is click on the three dots and clone it. And that could be sequence two, clone it. Sequence three, clone it. Sequence three, no, not those three dots of the page on the oh. page. I'm sorry. Out, and then you could just go clone oh, yeah, I see. and then okay. and that would be for email number two clone it again email number three right and you may yeah you just all you have to do is name it it gives you the opportunity to name it uh sequence two sequence three yes. etc yes you'll just name uh, it you'll just name it and as you're naming out all these pages like you want to be very specific like is it a listing sequence is it is it the email sequence three that's part of my listing funnel is it part of my seller guide funnel Right. That's what okay. you want to get in the habit of is, is making sure that you're you're naming these pages accordingly, because as you okay. have 15 more pages, you're going to get confused on what the hell is what. Oh, yeah. And, and that's yeah, why no, putting everything in categories is also important. So okay. so the categories hit hit all campaigns actually you know at the top all categories hit that drop down all categories. You want to be where to the what's right. that? Right okay. You want to be able to hit this and go to your seller guide category. You want to be able to oh. click that and go to your listing category. Right. Okay. So, so you'll want to start putting everything in, in, in categories. Okay. So, well, I put that video in a category. Perfect. So that was good. Perfect. So video Didn't on the I? thank you page, video on the, on the emails and you're good with video. I did put it on a category. Maybe I just named the video, but I'll go back and, and categorize it. Awesome. Awesome. So again, you don't have to make those videos now, but that's just something you want to, you want to start adding because the email sequence, you're either going to be getting appointments on that thank you page, or you're going to be getting emails via your email sequence.
So these emails that are going out, again, you can only write, your, your, our, our writing ability is only so much. You have right. to be able to persuade me. What's, what's your goal? What's the objective? I'm not sending these e- emails out for, the, for, my, for my health, right? I'm sending these emails with one core objective, and that's to get you to schedule a call. Right. So, so for me to write that and persuade you in my text, I don't, I can only do so much, but if I put my video out there, if I put my freaking face out there, I have a good chance of, 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 of you relating to me. I have a good chance of, of touching certain points in your mind psychologically to get you to like me, right? Video goes a long way. So I agree. if I can get video in those emails with that page, that that's Mm going to, that's going to raise my chances of getting appointments, you know? So that's what video is all about. So, so when we send a vi- when I use that like um, email sequence videos, they just go. There's no text text with them. They just go out as part of the sequence instead of a, a email with text. No, they good just question. Go out as email. Let, just let me go share. Out. Let let me share my screen. Let me share my screen, and I'll show you an example. Let me um unscre- unshare. Hold on. I meant to unshare what happened here. Where are we? Uh, can you still see my screen, David? No, just stop sharing and then come back to come to Zoom. You should see my screen. Okay. I thought I hit stop share. Oh, maybe I am seeing your screen. Yeah, you see you see me clicking? Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. So this is this is one specific sequence, right? This is one specific sequence. Um <laughs> And, and, and I can, I can go into this one. So in this one, here's how, here's how I have it. And I, I have videos for all of my stuff, like all my emails, I should say Uh very few. Do I just write random texts because I just, because that's just me. Everyone's different. Everyone's different. Everyone's different. I happen to be just very comfortable explaining myself via video. Uh Why this is, this is even more easier for me because I'll put a video out on everything. So, so for example, here's one sequence. And then, um, and then here's, here's the way the email looks. So as I send out this email, um, Mm -hmm. here's the bait, here's some text. See, I, this is me selling a $2,000 course. So my emails are a little bit more elaborate and they're a little bit more detailed, but it's the same shit. So, or excuse me, it's the same thing. Like it's the same strategy, same everything. So here goes my basic email. Here's, uh-huh. here's the text or here's the subject line. And then here's the actual text. So in my text, I'm actually writing some stuff out. I'm writing out a lot of stuff, but it's actually pointing everyone to click here to watch, click here, yeah. you know, watch here. So, yeah. and even my image is, is click and it goes straight to a page. So look, yeah. they click and they go straight to this page right here. Actually, let me, let me show you this link right here. So if they click that, mm-hmm. actually that that link, I need to change out those links. That's not the that's not the right link, but it's the same thing. So they click, right. they click, and I'm actually taking them out to this page right here. Okay. So they're clicking. There's my headline at the top. Here's my video. Wow. And so it's the same thing. So it's, it's so, so there's, there's my email. Actually, where did it go? Um, Here's my, here's my actual email. And then, Uh and then all they're doing is they're just clicking, they're clicking the word watch here to go to another page. And it's just, so watch here, they're clicking. So yeah, I'll write out a little bit in the, in the email. Yeah, for sure. But but it's all about getting getting them to to click and come over to this page where they can watch my video. And again, what am I doing over here on this on this page? I'm actually mm-hmm. getting them to buy something. So mm. yours okay. is clicking here to schedule a call. Mine is clicking here to to, to purchase. And so right oh, here, you see my pixel. Oh yeah. My pixel is on is on everything. And so in in this case, they click. And they come over to a page where I'm selling them my actual coaching program. And that's, okay. that's this right here. Wow. So, so it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's emails that are going out, 
my emails that are going out and I have a ton of them. I have a ton of them, like down, down, down to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. I have a ton of them and I have videos on all these emails. So well, I'm, I like I said, I'm getting more comfortable with the videos and I don't mind making them. I will probably not know how to link everything like you did. But now I'm going to try to work on that um, email sequence one and try to learn how to put the video in the components and see if I can do that. Yeah, okay. But that's your help embedding them in emails because I don't know how to do that. But all, all it is is I'll go to the page. So I'll go to my Karcher page. Mm -hmm. Let me show you all this is. I'll go to my Karcher page. Let's say it's, let's say it's, it's this page. Here's my video. Here's my video. Here's the, mm -hmm. the email sequence one that you and I just created. That one page. Right. We cloned it, email sequence two. We clone it, email sequence three. Whatever that link is, as I go up to the green button, actions, save progress, actions, publish live. As I go and publish live, that's when I'm customizing my link. So let's say, for example, this here's my here's my page. Here's my link. Here's my video. That's my one sequence three page, right? All mm -hmm. I got to do is come to the email. His, here's all I'm doing. I'm and coming doing to all through Kartra. What's this that? Is all through, this is this is Kartra you're on right now. Yeah, this is my Kartra. This is, through Kartra. Wow. This is all. This is what I'm. This is what yours looks like. Yeah, but I didn't do emails yet. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We yeah. haven't done the emails. So here, look. All I'll do is I'll come into the email. I'll write the email and I'll just hyperlink whatever word. So I just hover. I I highlight the highlight whatever word. I link it to the page. There's my cartridge page. Click OK. And now this right here, I'll also highlight. I'll bold it. I'll change the color to blue. And there goes that link. So as I click on it, it takes them straight to my, my, my page. It takes them straight to my yeah. video page. Yeah. So I just got the link. And I just I just hyperlinked, hyperlinked a word. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is. Watch here, down here, click here to watch ASAP, watch here. That's all I'm yeah. doing. They click and they're coming to this Karcher link, which is your your link, your sequence one, sequence two, sequence three, whatever. Oh, I got you. You know, so okay. and in my link, I customize it. So so whatever my headline is, whatever I'm gonna mm -hmm. headline, this is email number seven, for example. Whatever that headline is is also my my link. So austinsboutiquerealtor.com forward slash, and this will be email number seven, for example. So okay. whatever I'm headlining the page, I normally also headline, I also no, normally customize the link. Um, and then I just line it up with my .com. So there's the .com that's with, with Kartra and that's it. So okay. these are simple emails that, that you can, you can you can play around with and and link to that Karcher page. Okay. Okay. All right. 